Variables give your JavaScript code the power to remember, reuse and react. If you're learning JavaScript, variables are a must. They're used everywhere. But what's a variable exactly? Here's what the code looks like when you create one in JavaScript. A variable in JavaScript is like a little container where we store data. We give that container a name and later on we can use that name to access the value inside. Think of a variable like a box with a label on it. The label is the variable's name and the item inside the box is the value. One variable could simply store a number, another one could hold a user's name or the result of a calculation. All right, let's start. I've prepared a basic HTML file connected to a JavaScript file. And now we want to create a simple variable for the score in a game as a number. We can write let score and that's called a declaration. We've just created an empty variable called score. It's like setting up the box, but not putting anything inside yet. Now we assign a value to it like this. Score equals 7. Or we can do both in one step. Let score equals 7. Now our box labeled score holds the value 7. And if we print it to the console using console.log, we can see the result 7 printed to the console. Let's create a few more variables and print them to the console. Here we've created three different variables, name, age and country and assign some values to them. After that, we will lock each of the variables individually to the console. And when we run this, we'll see each value printed out, just like opening the boxes and showing what's inside. Now let's talk about two ways to declare variables, let and const. We use let when we plan to change the value later, and we use const when the value should stay the same. Here's an example with let, let score equals 10, and then we lock score to the console. After that, we set score to 50, and log it again. And as you can see, the first log output is 10 and the second one is 50. And now with const, const pi equals 3.14. And then we log it to the console. And after we try to assign a new value to pi, we will see an error because we are trying to change a constant. So just remember, let is for flexible values and const is for fixed values. The next question is, what kind of values exist in JavaScript? That's where data types come in. First up are numbers. JavaScript uses one data type for all kinds of numbers, whether they are whole numbers or decimals. Here's a quick example. We start by creating a variable called apples and set it to 5. Next, we create another variable called price per apple and set it to 0.5. That means each apple costs 50 cents. Now comes the interesting part. We create a third variable called total and we set it to apples times price per apple. So we are multiplying 5 by 0.5, which gives us 2.5. And finally, we lock the result of the calculation to the console using console.log total. Next, we have strings. A string is just a piece of text. It can be a word, a sentence, or even an empty string. We start by creating a variable called first name and set it to Taylor. That means we stored the text Taylor inside a box labeled first name. Next, we create another variable called greeting and assign it the value good morning. Now we use console.log first name to print the value stored in the first name variable and it shows Taylor in the console. Then we log greeting and we get good morning printed as well. So both values show up just like we expected. We can also combine strings using the plus sign. So what's happening here? We're combining or concatenating the value of greeting, which is good morning, with a comma and a space, and then with first name, which is Taylor. And all of that gets stored in the message variable. Then we log message to the console, and the result is good morning Taylor. Now let's have a look at the so-called Boolean variables. A Boolean is a data type that can only have two values, true or false. It's perfect for yes or no situations. Let's look at a few examples. We create a variable called is locked in and set it to true. This means the user is currently logged in. Then we create another variable called is admin and set it to false. So this user is not an admin. Next, we log both variables to the console. First we see true and then we see false. Booleans are simple. They can only be true or false. Now let's talk about a tricky data type, undefined. When we declare a variable, but don't give it a value, it's automatically set to undefined. Here's what I mean. So first we declare another variable called result, and then we immediately print it to the console. This will print undefined because we haven't assigned anything yet. Now there's also null. Undefined is not the same as null. 
Undefined means no value yet and it happens automatically and null is something we set ourselves to mean nothing here on purpose. Here is our undefined example from before and now we assign null to result and print it to the console again and as you can see we get two messages, one undefined and one null. So now let's do a quick recap of what we have learned. We learned that variables are containers for storing values. We saw the difference between let and const. Then we looked at the most common primitive data types, numbers, strings, booleans, undefined and null. Nice, you've just taken a big step into JavaScript. If this video helped you, go ahead and click like, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if you have any questions. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.